Welcome to Electron Online, and let's talk about the convention of shear and moment on the internal forces on the beam. Let's say we have a beam. The beam is supported on both ends. These are the reaction forces of A and B. And let's say we have one single load force. And we want to know what the internal forces are right here. We want to know what the shear and the force is at this particular location. So what we're going to do is draw free body diagrams of section 1 and section 2. Now notice those are simply imaginary sections because it's a solid beam all the way through from A to B. We need to investigate the shear forces and the moment inside the beam at that location. By convention, if the, if the shear is downward on section 1, we consider that a positive shear. If the shear is upward on section 2 here, we consider that a positive shear. So, in the case that if the shear actually is downward, that would be negative shear. In this case, if the shear is upward, that would be negative shear. So, by convention, we call it positive when the shear is down on section 1, and we call it positive when the shear is up on section 2. Also, when it comes to the moment, notice when on section 1, the moment is clockwise, and this is the internal moment inside the beam trying to oppose the moment caused by the external force on the beam. When that moment is counterclockwise, it's positive. So that's according to the normal convention of the moment. But on the right side, if we take a look at the moment on the beam on the right side, notice that the convention says that if the moment is clockwise, it's positive. And that's why it's often confusing because we, tend, we tend to think of clockwise being negative moment, but when we talk about the internal moment of the beam opposing the, the moments caused by the external forces, we call the moment on the right beam right here, on this segment on the right beam, we call that positive if it's clockwise, we call this positive when it's counterclockwise on the left segment. Also notice, down on the shear here is considered positive, which is also confusing, and up is positive on the right section right there. So keep that in mind. That's the way it is. If you don't have that straight and you start working out the problems, you're going to get very confused on the signs. So this hopefully will cement it. So that's the convention. That's what we hold ourselves to. And that's how we assign the signs according to what we find. And here, of course, I've explained that in a kind of a cryptic manner, just so you can look at it and say, OK, I remember. That's the convention. Now let's go forward and start calculating some moments and some shears.